So for push-ups, it's the same protocol and it's the same rule with the elbows instead of the knees. So the top of the range, the elbow is still a little bit bent. The bottom of the range, all the way down to touch. But it's a quick touch like it was with the lunges and the knee. So you're never stopping at the bottom, you're never stopping at the top. You're only stopping on those seven stops on the way up and seven stops on the way down. Those are the only points where you're ever actually stopping your range of your, your motion. So little tiny stops coming up. Here's the top. Little tiny stops coming down. If push-ups from the feet are too difficult, go to the knees. You can also go to the knees when you reach fatigue and keep going. So if you can't get seven from the feet, just go to the knees and keep going with protocol. Remember at the bottom, right away up. Never resting, never stopping, same thing at the top. When you get to the top, immediately back down into your next rep. That way you've got constant tension on the muscle. You're never allowing it to refuel with any kind of a rest because fatigue is the key. So if you actually do stop and refuel, you're just prolonging your own misery because your set's gonna be longer because you've just refueled. So it's to your advantage to hang in there and not offload and not rest so you don't let your muscles have a chance to refuel. So you get to seven or you get to fatigue. If you get to seven, Go down to the middle, pulse it until you can't pulse it, hold it until you can't hold it. And then if you want to keep going, drop down to the knees, keep going. Or if you started from the knees to make it easier because the feet's too difficult, that's great. Pulse this again until you can't pulse, hold until you can't hold, until you fade down, and then you're done with push-ups.